January 16th, 2017. Well, we had a, uh, a thaw back over the weekend. Went up to 61 degrees, everything thawed out, melted off. We got a couple of inches of rain. We finally got good flow back at the ram pump. I was able to turn the ram pump back on and uh, pump enough water to fill all the barrels in the greenhouse, put my reserve back online just in time. Uh, so that's the good news. The bad news is it was about 4.30 in the morning by the time I got done pumping water and it was still pouring rain and sleeting out. And uh, so I left the ram pump going. I figured it would be okay uh, overnight. And, um, and then I didn't get back down here. So, uh, well, we got some serious damage. So let's have a look at the damage. If I can do this without breaking my butt. You notice the overflow is going around now. Um, and not, uh, not through the standard overflow pipe. That's because everything's frozen and backed up. Um, and uh, we split, we went down to uh, like two degrees up, up top. So I imagine we probably hit zero or less down here. We split pretty much uh, every pipe and fitting we could split. So that sucks. We got the stand pipe. You can see the crack and the pieces. You know, the snow's all over everything now, so it's going to be hard to see. We split the valve. We split the stand pipe over here. And the top part seems okay. I suspect part of that is because of the pipe here. That probably gave it a place to. Uh, expand to. We also split the drive line, shattered it actually, completely shattered it. Get down here. Yeah. See? Completely shattered it. The whole thing. Just shattered it. Wide open. And of course, uh, the pressure chamber also took one. Took one for the team, so to speak. Shattered all pieces. Everything. Split the whole chamber. Split the crossover. Split the secondary chamber. Split the primary chamber. And even split down here at the bottom. I guess you can't see it in the snow, really. And uh, the valve, I haven't been able to get out. That's frozen in. I don't think it damaged the valve, so hopefully we can pull that out and save it. I don't know where the weight part of it went, but uh, went for a ride somewhere. <clears throat> That's not too hard to rebuild. That's just a piece of threaded rod. And as long as the valve didn't split, we're not too bad off. That valve's about 75 bucks, so hopefully I don't have to replace that. And I think, oh boy, maybe not. Boy, oh boy. I thought our brass valve made it. Oh yeah, I think it, well, at least from the outside, the, the other brass valve is okay. Um, but that's gonna be a lot of repair and fittings to refit. And the worst part, I don't mind the time so much, but the worst part is uh, is the cost, because these PVC fittings aren't cheap. So uh, I guess this spring we'll have to do a full rebuild. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll take that as an opportunity to upgrade a few things. I don't know if there's a whole lot left that needs to be upgraded. I think we got it pretty well refined. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So anything, everything, anyway, everything's covered in an ice shelf. Oh, there you go. You can see the crack on the the main line across as well. So pretty much everything from <coughs> that valve across to at least the pressure gauge, including the pressure chamber, has to be rebuilt. Uh, the top of oh, let me get back up here without breaking my butt. 
the top of both of those pipes actually is okay so I may be able to reuse a portion of that uh, but the rest of it will need replacement. I probably will not do the double pressure chamber again that didn't really make much of a volume increase um, but it was a good test uh, a little discouraging uh, this time of year is already tough for me uh, it's just a struggle you're always trying to keep up with uh, split enough firewood and keep the cold off and keep the house from freezing and keep the chicken water as water instead of ice so they can drink and etc 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 all the complications of winter and uh, I hate winter and I still actually don't know why I live in New York State anymore but I do so here I am anyway uh, thought, uh, thought my viewers would appreciate a uh, glimpse into what happens when it gets too cold and uh, the ram pump stops and everything freezes um, I have to assume that it stopped because uh, otherwise the flow would have kept at least the drive line from freezing and also uh, if you look at the valve the valve is closed it's in the closed position so I think I think the weight came back off um, for some reason the thread lock unlocked the weight came back off and it uh, it froze locked up and that's probably why everything split and shattered up and down so uh, if you can avoid that and keep water flowing chances are you won't uh, won't blow out all your fittings pipes valves etc anyway um, just thought I would do an update I know I haven't uploaded many videos lately uh, just kind of uh, going through the struggles of winter right now and uh, I'll get back to some good videos up and coming. In the meantime, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network, and happy 2018.